This lecture is presumably the easiest one. However, the question about string builder and string is so popular at interviews, especially when beginners are interviewed, that I couldn't resist the desire to cover this topic. If you're an experienced developer, just skip this lecture. So the question is, what is the difference between string and string builder? To answer this question, let's look at an example right away. We have a method here which runs two loops. The first loop goes from 0 up to 30,000, adding a string representation of the current iterator value to the A variable of type string. The other loop is the same, the only difference is that we add the current iterator value to the SB variable of type string builder. We also measure the time spent on these loops. Let's run the code and see the results. The first loop, which modifies a string variable, works 1000 times slower than the loop, which modifies the string builder variable. Why string builder works so fast comparing to strings? The thing is that when I said that the first loop modifies the string variable, I actually lied. Strings are immutable. When we mutate a string variable, every time we get a new instance of type string. Of course, when we need to perform thousands of modifications on a string, it will result in a very significant performance penalty. String Builder was designed exactly for such cases. String Builder represents a mutable string. So, mutating its instance, there are no thousands of allocations of new string instances. We modify the same instance. It doesn't mean that we should use String Builder everywhere. When we are talking about up to 10 modifications, it's better to use regular strings. Consider it as a rule of thumb.